Hello, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you, Ni? Very good, thank you. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your time participating in our Bamis Canadian YouTube channel. We are giving information to people who want to come to Canada. So your knowledge and experience will be very precious to those who want to come to Canada. So I yeah. really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Yeah, I'll be very happy to motivate them. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, uh, would you like to introduce yourself uh, a little bit about yourself? Okay. Uh, so, hi, guys. Um, my name is Davinder Kaur, but you guys can call me Davi. It's my nickname. Um, I am basically Indian. I'm from India. So, so I came here in uh, Jan 2021. So it's been a year since I'm here. So I'm loving it here. I think it's the best season of my life. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been in Canada? Um, I came in Jan 2021. So it's been one year. Yeah. So I'll tell you a story. <laughs> So, so how do you feel? How do you feel living in Canada? So I feel great. I feel blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever experienced any uh, challenging in Canada? Yeah, yeah I think uh, my life here is completely different what it used to be in India. So I think I faced like many challenges when I first come to Canada. I was struggling to get a job here. I applied, I went to all the stores nearby. I, was, I handed them my resumes. I applied online, but I couldn't find any job. So I was, it was a very stressful time for me. After some time, um, you know, it takes time for something good, right? So after like a month or I think one and a half month. I luckily I got a job. I applied to an immigration office. So after that, I went for an interview there and they were like pretty impressed and they hired me. And they were also like, they were also in need of an employee. So they hired me immediately and I worked there for I think six months. Yeah. I worked there for six months and it was a great experience um, because uh, I also used to work in India, but uh, I, I think they, they didn't pay me good enough money. So working here is more convenient for me because it has a good salary, good pay, good money, and, uh, and most importantly, a better future. Yeah. So. So you said uh, your life is different from India and here. So what is your like, uh, life like in India? You know, uh, my life is like completely different. You know, I'm just 21 right now. So I was uh, doing my senior secondary. So after, and I used to think at that time, uh, like what I'm gonna do after I finish my senior secondary, what am I gonna do? So I thought I should do nursing or I should do any like a degree. But then I thought if I do a degree or nursing, if I work there, it, it will not be worth it, right? Then I, then I saw my friends and my relatives, they were uh, living in Canada and they were having a good life and they were like buying expensive things, luxury cars. <laughs> So I I was like, I, I also want that life, you know. <laughs> so I I went to an agent and I asked him the procedure. Like, how can I apply? I want to go there. And he told me a couple of ways, uh, like what are the ways to go to Canada? Or And then he told me different kinds of ways. Like there are many kinds of ways. Uh, you can go on a study visa. You can go on a work visa. Yeah, yeah, you, you can apply to many of them. So I chose the way to study, right? Because 
my I have like so much time. I want to study more and more and like grow. So I chose study and then I applied for Langara College in Vancouver. And I waited and the COVID started. <laughs> So after COVID started, I was so stressed because no, none of the results were coming and it was like so hard for everyone. So I, I was just waiting for my results. So that time I said, I don't want to sit free at home waiting for my visa, right? Then I started a job in India. I worked in a receptionist in a store. So at that time, um, at that time, after working uh, for two, two, three months, yeah. At the starting of December, 2020, I, no, uh, at the starting of uh, October, at the starting of October, 2020, then I got my result. And the result was pretty, <laughs> pretty annoying because uh, uh, they refused my visa for Canada. They refused my visa at that so time. Your I visa was, rejected for the first time. Yeah, it, it, it was refused for the first time. I was so stressed about it. I was like, I was almost going to depression. <laughs> so after after that i i thought like what i'm gonna do next right then i thought i i why can't i give it a second try then i applied again and just pray for the best and after that uh, i got my visa luckily uh and then after that, I got my visa, luckily. And after that, in December 2020, I came here in Canada. And I was going to Langara College at that time. But uh, it was all online, you know. And after my study at that, uh, in my study in Langara College was uh, Associates of Science degree. But I found that study so hard and uh, like so expensive. You know, we have to pay almost like eight to nine thousand dollars for a semester. So I thought I can't afford it that much. And after like six semester, after like six uh, uh, months, I changed my course. I changed my degree, and I went. To I went to an agent again and I, I said like this is a problem. I don't wanna be I want I don't wanna be in Langara College anymore. I, I can't afford that much. And then they sent me to Kukitlam College where I'm studying right now. Sorry, uh which which college? Kukitlam College. Kukitlam College. Yeah. Uh, it is a private I'm, or public? Uh, it's a private college. Oh okay. Yeah. I went there and I started a two-year diploma there, Associates of Arts degree. It's, it, is, it is like general arts. It is very easy and uh, it is very affordable too. So what, what we can do is uh, we can study for two years and we can apply for our work permit after. After we finish our study, we can apply for a work permit and we can work here. And so, after that we so basically yeah. you came here by uh to, to study in the Langara. After that, you changed in Canada. Yeah. You changed your yeah. schools in Canada. Yeah, to another oh, college, okay. yeah. Oh, to another college. Yeah. So okay. Uh so you said you applying by the agent, so you have to pay agent fees. You yes. Yes, I paid okay. agent fees, uh, but it was not, not that much. Uh, it was like, uh, I think 15,000 15, rupees in India. Here, it would be like um, maybe two or three hundred dollars. Yeah. So you pay uh, 200 US dollars to agents. 
yeah i'm not sure about the yeah. exact yeah. amount yeah, yeah. Oh, okay so yeah so the agent uh have you to to change another course right no not here i'm talking about india when i came to india i paid oh. this much money and then i came here i, I uh, when i was changing another college and i then i paid agent again and it oh. was like 200 dollars yeah oh okay so you yeah you you, you use agents devil time okay yeah right? yeah oh, okay. okay tell me your experience uh living in canada and uh, living in uh, india so what do you I think, think you, I think you change I a have, lot yeah it changed a lot a lot because i i don't i didn't work so much in uh uh, in India, but here I'm working so hard and I'm studying so hard. So uh, my life is completely different. I'm away from my parents. I miss them. They miss me, but I'm living here on my own. I'm growing. I'm like, I'm pretty more matured than in India. I used to be so childish and teenager <laughs> in India. <laughs> I, I didn't care about the things. I didn't care about money. I didn't care about study. I didn't care about it. So, but now when I earn money, I know the value of money. Are you working right now? Oh uh, yeah, I'm working uh, with a well-known security company. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm working as a security officer. Um, How long have, uh, can you work in Canada as a student? Uh, until my status is an as a student, so I can work only 20 hours a week, not more than that. So after 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 I finish my study and I apply for my work permit, so after that, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm able to work full time 40 hours, yeah. It is possible to live in Vancouver with a part-time job. Yeah, it, it is possible, yeah. But I think uh, cities matter because uh, Vancouver, I think is more expensive than the place where I live in Surrey because um, I compare the expenses the rent and everything, the bills. I think Vancouver is more expensive because it is like more modern area. <laughs> yeah, they're so, more stores. So yeah. if you don't mind, I mean, asking me about your rent, how much do you pay for the rent in the Surrey? In the Surrey, uh, we have a three, uh, we have a three bedroom basement and we pay like 1600. But 1600 all total, but we are four people living here, so we share rent. Oh, so, so 1600 for the three bedroom? Three bedroom, yeah. Oh, okay. So for the one bedroom, it is almost 600, right? Yeah, yeah but, uh, but the thing is we, we are living like four people in, in the basement, so we share rent. So each person has like 400 maybe, yeah, 400. Oh, okay. So you you have to pay four hundred for the for the room. Yeah, okay. but everything is included: laundry, electricity bill, water bill. Everything is included. It's very good. It's, it's really a, a good price. You know, it, it's yeah, in Vancouver. Yeah. You you can you can get it. Yeah, I know, I know. And you know the uh, the basements or the houses in Vancouver, they are like so congested and so tight. <laughs> but here we have more space and a big living area. Yeah. So and more parking space. Yeah. So basically, if if you find out on the uh, Craigslist or online, uh, you can you can find the. Uh, price you can find the price right uh, i don't know so how do you know because... that information so how do you know that information because my cousin was already here before i came so she found it do, do you also work uh, another job uh, apart from the security officer no i, I don't work on for other job because uh, i can only work 20 hours so i just work three days a week also, so as a uh, as a uh, security officer, uh, what you have to do? 
what, what is a security job like? Um, it depends on the site. So if we are in a hospital, suppose I'm working in a hospital. So the place where I'm currently working is um, in New West. It's a hospital. And what I have to do is I have to uh, take care of the fridge. I sit in the COVID vaccination center and I take care of the fridge. If the alarm goes down and I have to call the engineer and they and he will come and see if the vaccines are okay or no. Yeah. Uh, risk, is this a risky job? No, it's a pretty easy job. I think it's the best job. So yeah. Uh, when it comes to security job, most of the people uh, in Asia, like in India, in, in Burma, most, most of the uh, security jobs are male. So the men. So yeah, I know, I know. What, in what my about country in Canada? Also. So what about in Canada? No, in Canada, also female also work, males also work as a security officer. I think uh, all kind of uh, like all generations work here. So yeah. do you think do you think it is suitable for a girl like you, the young girl? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I think it's a perfect job because if someone is studying, I think security job is the best job because the, you you have no stress at all. But if you are working on a store on in an office you have the uh, workload you have you have to work all the time but if you are working as a security officer you just have to take care of the things and or sit or stand anywhere yep stereotype like like in asia like if you work in security you might you might face a uh, social pressure so what about in here no, I, I don't think there is any social pressure over here because uh, the people who, uh, in India, they are in other country, they might think uh, different because, uh, for example, in my country, um, if a girl is working as a security officer, they, they think that it's not good. They think that it's not a good but it, when I started working here, I saw people respect so much. They respect so much our job, our profession. They respect so much. And also, also as a cleaner, before a security uh, job, I had no job after the immigration. Uh, when I left the immigration uh, receptionist job, after that, I had no job. And I, I joined a cleaning company. And I worked as a cleaner and I noticed like people here respect so much for, uh, to a cleaner too. But in, uh, but in India or in other countries, if uh, like a maid is working or a cleaner is working, they treat themselves, they treat them as low or they treat them as inferiors. So what is your dream job in Canada? My dream job, uh, <laughs> let's say I have like three plans. Um, after I finish my study, my first plan is maybe I'll study more. I'll study more in the medical field and I want to work in a hospital. Maybe as a nurse, maybe as a healthcare assistant or after I study more and more, I can grow more and maybe become a doctor sometime. Someday, yeah. And if it doesn't work, if my plan A doesn't work, I have plan B. I can work, I can work as in the airlines. I can work as flight attendant. And I have third plan. If they both don't work, I, I really want to go to um, police line. I want to work as a police officer. So let's see what happens. <laughs> so so you want to be a police officer? Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I don't have any like much knowledge about it right now because uh, uh, it's not my time. <laughs> After I study, I have lots of time now. I have almost like five years 
to go. So once I finish my studies and I start working, I will get more knowledge about it and I, I will plan ahead. People who are struggling in other countries, they are not, they're not sure what to do in life. I think they should come to Canada. I think it would be the best decision, uh, decision ever. Um, for students, uh, uh, for like teenagers or the, um, uh, the, the students who are like 18 plus or like between the age of 18 and 30, they can come over here and study. I think it would be the best because uh, they can have a better future ahead, right? And for people who, who have already studied so much and uh, they don't want to study more, they can, uh, they can work over here. They, they don't need to study. They can come over here and they can work and, and, and earn good money, right? And they can also get their permanent residence over here. So are you planning to apply permanent residence here? I'm not sure about it yet, but I think so because everybody is applying. So why not me? <laughs> okay. Because I, I really like the life here. So I think I will apply maybe, yeah. Okay. Do you have a, the last comment? The last comment? One thing, uh, one thing I want to mention here. Um, so if, if somebody wants to apply for uh, Canada as a study visa, so then they first need to do a course, a course uh, in English, it's called IELTS. Yeah, IELTS, yeah. So if you wanna migrate over here and study over here, so you guys uh, have to do uh, IELTS and score six bands and in each of the modules. The last comment is uh, uh, just come over here. The life is so good here. If you ever make a decision to come to Canada, I think it would be worth it. So please don't waste your time and don't, don't think too much. Just come here and live your life. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye, Bye, -bye. <laughs> Good morning, Bye, Bye. Good morning, 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 Gulu Nana will be like Jibu to my camera. General Bami's Canadian Pesha Immigration Lawyer, Immigration Consultant, Local Agency Mahobau, Canada Nangama, Immigration Nepadabi, Poka Uvido, Jenya Bajin and Solution, Soya Sima, DM Register Loa Vare, Elumam Hoi, Diamu Mabu. General Ro, Tatanga Yinia, Table Savin Zan, Mimia Lajare, Information to the Bajin and Pivare, General Ubri Nepada Jenya Bajin, Immigration Nepada Jenya Bajin, Mishiba.